I think the term super horn gets thrown about a little too much in the world of brass, but this horn, no doubt this is a super horn. A modern take on a 19th century tradition, but also the new, cool, beautiful 60th anniversary Shago Rowini. Stay tuned to this video, I'll tell you a lot more about this horn and why is it different than a normal rotary trumpet. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. Thanks so much for your great support of the shop. We appreciate you so much. Uh, we can't do it without you and we are so very thankful. Uh, so I saw that the great Shogwell company recently gifted Winter Marsalis for his 60th birthday, a gold-plated ra Raven or Rowini trumpet. They call it the Rowini trumpet, but originally it was the Raven. It was a little dis different design. This design is now the Rowini. Um, and of course, me being the astute watcher of videos, I saw that they had two horns there. So uh, I had asked Carl Shogrel if it was possible for for myself to purchase one of these. I've always loved the Raven and Rowini trumpets that they make. Uh, I just haven't had any slots in my collection, but recently I sold three or four horns, which now gets turned into this horn. The, the Rowini is a rotary valve trumpet. You can see that the three rotors are structured like an old Fisk, if you if you know turn of the century Hingham and Fisk instruments, like rotary cornets. Um, very similar design. This is a top action rotary valve. In other words, it's not set like a term, traditional German trumpet. The valves are moved upright. The difference between this and the Gonshorn primarily is in the lead pipe. Now, James Morrison, who this horn is designed for, has plenty of great videos describing this horn's existence and how it came to be. But his primary thing is that when you have a, a top action rotary valve trumpet like the Gonshorn, the lead pipe is a very short distance. So the feel of the instrument is gonna to feel totally different than a normal piston trumpet because the length of the lead pipe is very short. This horn, however, has a full length B flat trumpet lead pipe, thus making the a blow response and the char characteristic of the instrument much more similar to a piston valve trumpet. Now, the rotary valves will sound differently. I think you'll hear that, on a, especially on the close mic, where you hear that sort of like sound, which I love. It's like a sort of like, almost like a, a free articulation uh, in some regards. Um, and the bore size is not the same as the traditional Shagro Gonch horns. This is a slightly larger bored instrument as well. The mechanics of this horn are just, just stunning. So you can see that right there. You see how they actuate. And it's a very, very, very short throw, which I'm still getting used to. I've only had this horn for a few days. So I'm not really getting... Uh, I'm going to do a few follow-up videos, especially a nice uh, audio clip with mixed professional audio with a slideshow because this horn is just stunning. Isn't it just stunning? It is one of the most gorgeous horns I have ever owned. I think it maybe is between this and my Copernicus, these are the two uh, just most stunning instruments I've ever had. So again, those two companies, Shoggle and Adams, they're big. Uh, focal points for our company at Austin Custom Brass, and we thank both companies for all they do for us. We we had to have some some awesome stuff. So if you come to a trade show, you'll be able to see this horn. You won't, probably won't be able to play it because of what's been going on with the pandemic, and it's gold, and it's very, very, very expensive, um, but you'll definitely be able to hang with it. So let me play a little bit on this. I mean, you heard a bit of, of it, but let me play uh, just some chromatics on it. I just love the seamless nature of it. I'm gonna do this on my camera mic so you can hear it from a little bit uh, more of a distance.
It's just so much fun. I can't tell you how much joy this horn brings me. And um, I had mentioned on Instagram, uh, I recently lost my father who passed away a little unexpectedly. And uh, my father was an incredible engineer and a tinkerer. He helped me design my mouthpieces um, and helped ACB get off the ground. My two parents have been so influential, of course, but um, losing him was quite sad. And I decided that to honor him, I would purchase this because there's just so much engineering amazingness in this instrument, be it the, the gold plate, be it the, the valve action, be it the custom buttons. Look how amazing those buttons are. Be it the seamless nature of the sound. Uh, will it be my primary horn? I don't think so. I think Copernicus is still my primary horn, but it has a beautiful nature to it, a beautiful sound, a beautiful color. Um, I guess I, that will be, deter, be determined if I can get really used to these valves. Um, let me play something classical on it. Uh, I'll play a Charlier on my ribbon mic. I hope that conveys over this microphone. Again, the, the audio is completely raw and unedited. Um, it just has this shimmer. I mean, literally, it's like, you can't do anything but smile when you play this horn, I think. Uh, it's just some fun. Some purists out there would say, this isn't a trumpet. It's really a rotary valve cornet because the design is reminiscent to the rotary valve cornet. I think it's it's more trumpety, definitely more trumpety on some aspects than my Copernicus is. I can't wait to do a comparison video of the two. That, stay tuned, there's a little tease. But um, I think it's more trumpety than you, you would think. It has a, some spark and some life to it. If I put in a brighter mouthpiece, for instance, Check this out. sounds amazing with a deep cupped mouthpiece so that's where I'd say okay well maybe those people have have something on there they're onto something this is a true hybrid instrument just like Copernicus is <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
That's with my, I'll show it to you, my ACB TF mouthpiece, which is a trumpet flugel hybrid mouthpiece. So there you go. That's a quick tour. There will be more videos, but I had to just record this. And thanks again to Carl Schagel and the rest of the Schagel um, amazing team for making this true, absolute work of art. I appreciate it. It means so much to me on so many levels. And uh, I will be thinking about my pops every time I play it. Hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date with us. We appreciate you so much. And uh, we look forward to seeing you at some shows too soon. Stay tuned to where we'll be at trade shows. Take care.